What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to mass upload zip codes to your Microsoft Ads account. This is difficult to do for several reasons. One is you can't just have a list of zip codes and upload it. It doesn't work. You have to have location IDs, specific location IDs for Microsoft Ads that they give you corresponding to each zip code. The other restriction is there's a maximum of 10,000 locations that you can add to a campaign. So there are some campaigns that have 15, 17, 20,000 zip codes that you can only target and you can't upload them all at once, okay? So I want to show you how to bulk upload zip codes and then I'll give you a possible solution to what to do if you have uh, 20,000 zip codes. How do you target then? So uh, here we have my test account. We have this keto diet plan and we are targeting United States. But let's suppose we are promoting an offer, especially the supplies to paper call offers, where they give you 20,000 zip codes and those are the only ones you can target. What do you do? You need two things for this. One is you need Microsoft Ads Editor, which looks something like this. If you have any questions, you're unsure how this works, you'd like me to make a video on this, let me know. I will make a video on how to use Microsoft Ads Editor. But this is what you need. It's pretty straightforward here. And here's our campaign, Keto Diet Plan, Keto Diet Plan. Then you need the Excel sheet from Microsoft Ads, which looks something like this, okay? so. I have the Excel sheet uh, on, on my end here, but I have uploaded everything onto this Google Doc so that I can share it with you. And I've done a few changes with this Google Doc. I moved the location ID to the right so that we can do a VLOOKUP, which is upcoming next. I'll show you how that works. Um, I've added the location ID to the right rather than the left of the display name. And I also separated out the city and zip code into different columns. So what what the Excel sheet that Microsoft Ads gives you at first, it separates you know, the city from the state from the country by a little line like that, right? Think of it as a comma. And it's all listed in one column. And that makes it difficult to do a VLOOKUP. So what I did is I delimited, I separated out everything into columns. So I'm going to share this Excel sheet with you. So you're going to need this and the Microsoft Ads editor. Now, after you do that, after you get this, you click on File, you click on Download as Excel Sheet. And this sheet will be downloaded to your specific Excel file, which will look something like this, okay? Exactly the same, uh, but now you have control over it, you can edit it, it's much easier. So, now that you have all these basics to get started, okay? I have this list of zip codes added here. So I have this huge list of zip codes. As you can see, it's not just five zip codes that I can add, okay? Microsoft Ads doesn't allow you to add, you know, even, even 10 zip codes at a time. It has to be one at a time, which is extremely tedious if you're promoting these offers, which have, look at this, the zip codes still keep going, okay? Um, so the way we uh, upload all these zip codes to our Microsoft Ads campaign is by using an Excel tool formula called VLOOKUP, okay? And the way that looks is we're going to say, click this cell here, and we're going to click enter, or um, equal sign, and we're gonna type in VLOOKUP, doesn't have to be caps, can be all lowercase, and don't type enter, um, enter the left parentheses, okay? And the, we have to enter four values in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna complete this whole cell, and then we're going to copy the formula for this cell down to every other formula here to match these zip codes, okay? So the first thing we have to add here is the lookup value. So it's what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for this zip code, okay? Here's the list of zip codes. We need to find this zip code in this in this area, right? In, in, in these columns. We have to find it so that we can locate the location ID. We're looking for the Bing Ads location ID or Microsoft Ads so we can upload the location ID to the campaign. We can do that in bulk, but we can't add zip codes in bulk. We can only up add, add location IDs. So we're looking for this, so I can just select this or I can type in 501, but I'm going to select that cell. It's important that you select the cell, not type in the number because we're gonna drag the formula down, okay? So make sure you select, like you click on that cell. You're going to click comma, and now we're gonna move on to the next section, which is asking for the table array. So you are looking for this, uh, number 501 where where are you looking for this number where well we're looking for it in these cells okay it 
in particular, we're looking for it in this, in this column, really, because the zip code is going to be in this column. But the reason why I'm selecting this is because we need to find the location ID. Okay, If I don't select this, then the location ID won't be provided. And what we need is to see the exact location ID. So that's why we have to select everything here, including the location ID, because that's the value we need. So that's all for that. So that's the range of where we're, where that information is. The zip code is somewhere down there. And we're going to click comma. And then we're looking for the index number. So what number are we looking for? What number do we want to show up here? Well, we're looking for the location ID, right? So that we can copy all the location IDs and then paste it in our Microsoft Ads editor in bulk. We can do that. So uh, what you're going to do is you have to enter a number here. So it's a number from the left. So we selected this entire area, right? So this is column one, this is column two, three, and four. The location ID, what we're looking for is in column four. So we have to enter four here. If the location ID was over here instead, we would enter two, right? You get the idea? Whatever number it is from the left. In your case, if you're following this exact Excel sheet and this exact video, it's always going to be four for me, okay? Four, four for you. So you enter four, then you enter a comma again, and then you can enter, you can type in the words true for approximate match or false for exact match. In this case, I've separated out the zip code and state and country and all that. So you should see an exact match. So you can type in false, all caps, type in the end parentheses, and then click Enter. And you will see the location ID listed right here. Now, if we want to check this, right, what we can do is we can do a search function. So we can say Control F, and then type in 98106. And what we should see is that this location ID should match the zip code 501. Let's see. Let's see if that's what it matches. So that is not the location ID. That is the zip code. So let's keep going. So here's the location ID, right? Remember, the fourth column was the location ID, and here's the zip code, 501. OK, so it worked. So we know that this is this was set up correctly. Now, you can drag this down a little bit. So you can just drag these down now, and you will see the location IDs pre-populate for all these other zip codes. OK, so let's check this one, for instance, 103012. OK, and let's see that it, it should match the zip code 1008. So we're going to con click Control F. And what did I say? 103012. And let's make sure that it's 1008. Okay. So let's go next. 1008, Massachusetts. Okay. So it's done correctly. That's the location ID. Now, you can't just drag this down all the way down to the bottom. That's going to be a lot. So what you can do is just click on copy and then select this uh, cell, the next cell after that. Scroll down to the end of the zip code list. So we're going to scroll down. Not that far down. And then we just have to click on the very last column in this uh, in the zip code list, OK? So just go up a bit. As you can see, there's a lot of zip codes. So scroll down a bit more. This is a bit tedious, but not as tedious if you had to do this one by one, right? OK, so here it is. And then I'm going to Shift click here. And then I'm going to Control V or just Paste click. Uh, OK, I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to paste it. Uh, yeah, I just clicked Control V. Sorry, uh, I just clicked Control V, so that was I. I didn't know which which option they had. Now, some of them it's gonna say NA because uh, the information is not available in this Excel sheet. It's it's not present, which is okay. That's fine. You just won't upload those zip codes, or you could try to upload by city and state, which is a whole different video. Um, but let's just take a look and let's just check one more. So this one, for instance, one zero four seven nine two has to have the zip code 1834. So let's look at that. Uh, what was it? 104792 has to match the zip code 1834. Let's check. 1834, Massachusetts, United States. It's all correct, OK? So we verified it. Everything is fine. Some of them it says NA because the information is just not there. There is no such zip code in this Excel sheet that Microsoft Ads provided you. They update this continually, regularly, but um, it's not in this sheet, OK? So now that we've done that, we can copy this location ID. So I'm going to copy the whole thing, just select the column, click on that. Let's go to our Microsoft editor. Let's suppose we want to upload it to this campaign, OK? So instead of all United States, we only want those zip codes. Um, and we have to make sure, by the way, that it's not over 10,000. I believe it's not in this one. 
Oh, it is, okay. So this one is over 10,000. So we won't be able to update everything. So my solution to you, if you have over 10,000, uh, what you can do is you can create two campaigns. So you would just duplicate a campaign and then you would um, create one campaign with 10,000 and another campaign with the other 10,000, okay? So in this case, we can't do that. Uh, the zip code is large, but what you would do is you would simply scroll down to the 10,000 mark, roughly. So say here, so I'm gonna just select that. As you can see, it's below 10,000. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to Microsoft Editor. Um, you start off with something that looks like this. So you click on the campaign, you go to Keywords and Targeting, you click on Locations, and this has all these locations. So let's suppose um, I, I didn't update this yet. So let me just delete that. Then what you click on is make multiple changes, add update location targets, and you enter these location IDs here. And then let me just show you what that looks like. So based on this here, this is under 10,000. Um, you have to insert headings. So click on edit headings. And then you have to select target, okay? Not ID, but target, okay? That's the target. And then when you click next, you're gonna give it a few seconds to load, and then I will show you that all of this is updated. Um, so as you can see, these are the NA, right? So the skipped ones are the ones that didn't work. Uh, these are the ones that did work. So you can click close, and now you can see that all these zip codes match. So remember the 1001, that was the Massachusetts one, uh, or sorry, the 501 was the New York one. Uh, I, th I think it was 101, um, 1020 or something we checked, uh, that was Massachusetts. So everything is added here now successfully, okay? You don't see a warning error. If you want to post this, you click post. Again, if you have over 10,000, what you would do is you would simply copy this campaign, control C the campaign, control P, and then simply add into that other campaign, you would just add these locations, okay? So you would just copy paste these locations into the other campaign, and that's it. But just to show you that this is going to work, I'm going to click on post. I'm going to click on all campaigns just in case. Uh, and yes, some, like I said, you know, 129 uh, zip codes weren't added, that's fine. But let's go back here. So it's still loading, have to give it a few moments. It's a lot of campaigns. In Google Ads, you can add up to 1,000. Um, you can add cities and states. I'm not sure about zip codes, I think it's the same. You can add up to 1,000 zip codes in the actual interface, okay? Um, but with Microsoft Ads, you can't even do that. So this is really the only way for you to mass upload zip codes. I'll give it a few more seconds. If it still doesn't load, I'll just pause the video and unpause it when it uploads. But, oh, there you go. So it's just waiting for finalizing the changes. Uh, and then I'm going to refresh this page and it should show all those locations and it should be listed correctly. So let me go ahead and pause this video for just a few moments until this is done and then I'll repause it back again. Oh, no, it's working, okay. No need to do that. So as you can see, 9,333 locations have been uploaded, okay, fairly quickly. So let's refresh this page just to show you that these locations are in fact added here. And so as you can see now, the locations are uploaded. So for example, 501 New York, 544 New York, these are all the zip codes that were first here in the list, okay? Then you have 1001, 1002. If you go here, 1001, 1002, everything is listed. You see it here at the top, it says these locations have been added and 9,326 more, okay? So everything we uploaded except the ones that weren't found in the Excel sheet have been uploaded. As you can see, 933 pages of locations, right? 933 times 10. So that's how you do it. Again, the limit is 10,000. So if you have over 10,000 zip codes, just duplicate your campaign, create campaign one with the first 10,000 zip codes, campaign two with the other 10,000 or however many you have. Um, if you do want to upload by city and state, it is a bit more complicated because many states share the same city name. So it's not as easy as doing a VLOOKUP because you're gonna have numerous results show up. It's gonna give you incorrect answers. You won't get credit for sales because you might get a city from a different state than what is allowed. Um, so it does take a bit more time. If you do want me to make a video on that, let me know. I'll be happy to make one. If there's enough demand, uh, I'll be happy to show you how to bulk upload by city and state. But like I said, it does take a bit longer. You have to do some changes before you do the VLOOKUP for each different state, okay? Um, if you do also want me to make a video on the Bing Ads editor, let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to make a video on that as well, if there's enough demand. 
Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, you name it. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any other questions. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.